Hey guys, what's going on? I have a quick but useful video for you guys today that demonstrates how much the Apple Watch is progressing not only as a notification machine anymore, but also a health tracker. If you have an Apple Watch Series 4, I highly recommend upgrading to watchOS 5.1.2 so that you can take advantage of your Apple Watch hardware. This feature wasn't available at launch, but thankfully they now rolled it out and you can now perform an EKG of your heart using your Apple Watch. An EKG or an ECG measures and monitors the electrical heart signals that your heart makes and can help you identify if you have any problems with your heart. The hardware on the Series 4 has changed quite drastically. You'll have this all ceramic back on all Series 4 models that houses an optical heart rate sensor which measures how quickly your heart is beating, but it now also has several electrical leads which is needed to complete the EKG. The ceramic back has these electrodes on it that when putting on the Series 4 snugly on your wrist makes contact with your skin and therefore is able to perform it. There is also an electrode on the digital crown which completes the circuit allowing you to perform your electrocardiogram. Now it is important to remember that your Apple Watch is not your doctor. Do not rely on the Apple Watch to tell you how healthy or unhealthy you actually are. Just because you have a steady resting heart rate does not mean that you shouldn't go see your doctor. Have your regular physician perform a yearly physical with you to determine your health conditions. It is also important to note that the Apple Watch can warn you if your heart rate drops too low or if at rest your heart rate climbs up suddenly, but it cannot, I repeat, cannot detect a heart attack. If you ever feel numbness on your chest or arms, pain, difficulty breathing, or dizziness, you either need to see your doctor ASAP or dial that 911 on the quick fam, you might be dying. To perform the EKG, just make sure you updated both your phone's operating system and your watch to watchOS 5.1.2 and you're good to go. You'll first have to open up the health app on your iPhone and enter some information like your date of birth and wait before you can start. Once you do that, you can open up the ECG app on your watch and you'll be presented with an animation to begin. Simply touch, don't press. The digital crown and the EKG will begin. You must have your finger against the digital crown for 30 seconds and all this while refrain from moving and within 30 seconds you'll have a result. And that graphic of a heartbeat ain't for show. That's your current heartbeat live. Amazing, I know. So the main purpose of an electrocardiogram is to check that your heart's upper and lower atrium are beating in sync. What we want is to be in sinus rhythm. This, as mentioned, should signal that your heart is pumping blood as it should without any abnormal normalities. The watch will display that or three other results. If it detects something wrong, it will show you that you may have AFib or atrial fibrillation and should have your doctor check it out. Another result may be an inconclusive EKG. This happens for a variety of reasons. Either your watch wasn't hugging your wrist like it should, you were moving, or just breathing weird. Bruh, I know you nervous to find out if you dine or not, but look, just chill and take a deep breath. Lastly, if your heart rate is under 50 beats per minute or above 120, it will also come up as basically inconclusive because it won't be able to record an accurate EKG of your heart. Once the EKG is completed, you'll get a notification on your phone to check out your results. It'll include your average heart rate as well as images of that squiggly line that we see at hospitals. And if you're Albert Einstein, you'll find out that this is a graphical representation of how your heart is actually working. What's even more incredible is you can save the entire test as a PDF to have for some weird reason if you want to keep it and frame it and put it on your wall to remind yourself you're healthy for now, or send it over to your doctor to discuss the results. Also, quick note, this EKG feature is only available available in the United States as of the time of this recording. Approval for this technology is needed for this feature to be available internationally, so I apologize for all my international viewers. I just think this is so cool and it really shows the progress Apple is making so that we can be more conscious of our health. When the Apple Watch first came out, it really was basically a boo-boo piece of tech that was kind of gimmicky in my opinion, but Apple has come a long way with the Apple Watch. To checking the time, recording a workout, and now even monitoring your heart, Apple is doing a lot of things right. Now again, as mentioned previously, your watch is not your doctor. It is simply a tool that reminds you to be on top of your game when it comes to your well-being. It's an amazing feature, but it will never replace your doctor, so make sure you keep that in mind. Well guys, that was it for this quick demo of the ECG feature. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Apple Watch Series 4 in-depth review won over on my Instagram poll, so make sure you follow me there and subscribe so you don't miss it. It's gonna be a good one. I'll catch you guys later.